Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to talk about the internet of the infinitely small. You may heard about Internet of Things. Many people are talking about Internet of Things right now. And there is a broad definition, a broad space of uh, application with uh, dealing with it, creating hardware devices into Internet. And we are entering, we are, we have, we entered in the, uh, in the digitization maybe 30 years ago with the compact disk. Everybody uh, knows that uh, today uh, our knowledge is stored into the cloud. So the human uh, production is stored into the cloud. But today, the concern is not to deal with what has been done, but to how to create the connection between our real world to the virtual world, meaning that all the chairs in that room, all the bulb, every bulb, every doorknob, everything should be connected into the cloud. Back to the previous presentation, you talk about any asset we can buy, everything will be connected. So to do that, we need to find out how to deal with that a huge number of devices, it should be 800 billion, it should be 1,000 billion, we don't know. But it is, uh, for me, the, the concern today is how to get this connectivity happen because we need it to, uh, for the future. So first of all, the idea I have, and I, I would like to tell you it's an inspiring uh, talk, because what I would like to tell you is a story that can happen, but we have to deal with that, meaning that if we plan to connect to develop devices with the CAT tool, like the CATIA tools. Imagine that today we are storing files, uh, raw, raw storage. If you try to store the, device, the, the conception of any device in a double helix shape, meaning that we create like a DNA for every object. So this is the first, the first stage. We have DNA for every object. So we have to think what should be done in, in, uh, stored inside the DNA. But you have to think of also what should be the RNA. RNA is mean that today in our body you have DNA, RNA, we create protein to make our body work. But it should be the same thing for the, for the object. The RNA should be sensors. So if you gather sensors plus uh, uh, objects, you can create digital protein. And digital protein should be the, maybe the way for any object in the world to communicate into the cloud and create other data that will be gathered into the cloud. And this is, for me, the vision I have for the, the future of the IoT. We need to create that. I, I agree it's a big bet, it's a very high vision. But it's, it should be work if we do that. And for the f for, to, to reach that expectation of IoT, we need to give up the battery. We can't rely on battery if we talk about billions of devices. We need to find out how to get all this energy surrounding us. Because in this room, I think we, there is uh, plenty of mobile phones, there is Wi-Fi, there is our own heat, there is lights, there is many ways to get microwatt to power transmission for, for the object. So this is what we need to do. We need to create this energy harvesting solution to power everything. And this, as soon as we are be, will be able to do that, the next challenge will be how to get the message published by these devices, and for that, we need a global network, meaning a global network is everywhere in the world, in the ocean, in the desert, in downtown, in Berlin, and wherever. You need to have this connectivity. You need to find out how to get tiny signal into the noise, generating by very low energy devices. This is the challenge we need to, to face, and I think there is a solution for that. I am not dreaming. I think I will tell you the story of Sigfox just the next slide. But we are doing that because the challenge of IoT is not connecting every uh, wristband, every uh, uh, alarm panel or Nest devices that are using Wi-Fi. It's, it's fine, but not the, the, the big deal is not there. The big deal is to how to connect everything without battery everywhere in the world seamlessly without having to deal with, uh, to, to cope with the problem of uh, peering devices into your, the cloud. This is the, the, the challenge of, uh, high, of IoT. But in the meantime, I don't say that what the MNO are doing today, connecting your mobile, connecting your tablets and laptop and so on, we, we will have to do that. 5G, a way to improve the, increase the, the bandwidth is a good, is a good uh, focus. But at the end of the day, we need to merge low-end and high-end devices into the cloud. And sometimes, because in the future, everything relies on, uh, on wireless connection, we need to find out how to to, to collect all of them. At Sigfox, we are doing that. It's not a, uh, just a claim in, on the slide, not it, but we are today in 19 countries. We are rolling out the network. We are installing base stations on top of towers, on top of roofs. We have a thousand of stations installed in Europe, in uh, North America, South America, 
East, Middle East, Africa. So we have the same network all over the world. So it means that everywhere you are, if you switch on your device with a small battery for the moment, we are not dealing with uh, energy harvesting, but we are on the way to do that in maybe two or three years from now. It means that wherever you are, you can get this connectivity at a very minimum price, because we have a price grid until uh, f 50 cents per year, you can, get, you can connect your device into the cloud. And this is what Sigfox is doing. We try to connect everything. We try to tease the ecosystem, because I heard on the pre uh, first presentation that we in, in Europe, we need to be bullish. We need to create something in infrastructure for the future. Internet of Things is the future for sure. In the, in the, in the tens or 15 years coming, we will have to, to deal with that uh, huge opportunity. We can do it from Europe, because I think today, this network is the same everywhere you are. It's, it's already worked in, in the US, in, uh, as I said, in, in Europe. But we, we have to create the story with that. We have to connect all the devices, the smart button, the dash button from the, the Amazon, the, the asset tracking, pallet tracking, everything will be connected. And we have the opportunity to tackle with that. And uh, when we talk about uh, maintenance, maintenance industry 4.0, I think here in, in, in Germany, is a good topic for, for many industrial on how to deal with that maintenance 4.0, uh, predictive maintenance, sorry, industry 4.0, meaning at, at Sigfox we can provide for $1 uh, a module with a, an accelerator in it, plus a transceiver, plus small CPU. If you stick this uh, module in every engine, everything, you can detect the vibration. You can monitor the vibration. You can predict uh, failures. You can know how long your device is running per day. Is there is something trouble? You can detect it for one dollar. So Im imagine how many devices, how many electrical engines there is in the world. It's a huge. It's a tens of millions or hundreds of millions. I don't know. It's, it's a huge opportunity. And it is possible because today the price point on the easiness to connect everything into the cloud is there. And this is the purpose of Sigfox. We are only a network provider. We are providing only the, 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 the connectivity, but we are ready to work with all of, the, of you because we, we had enabler, but we, can't, we want, don't want to compete with, with you because we know that doing the network, and it's uh, quite uh, um, uh, ambitious to have one network all over the world to create everything, but uh, we need you. And I think I will tr uh, finalize my presentation with something I have in mind. Personally, I believe that our world is not um, is, is digital, I would say. Uh, and I think we are in a big simulator, every, every, every one of us. And maybe the idea I have, I will propose this idea, does any atoms are processor, are computers, and all the electrons turning around the atoms are the bus between all these processors. So this is the way, maybe the vision I have of our world, just for inspiring us and uh, telling you a good, good, uh, good day and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.